Hey, and good evening to this edition of the Falcon Flyby. I'm your host, Doc, for the Falcon Flyby. And uh, as you can see, yes, got a little, got a little close to the seams here. Um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in for this episode, September 11th episode of the Falcon Flyby. And as we look back 15 years um, on this date, September 11th, um, this nation suffered a great blow to not only um, New York City, but again, like I said, to this nation, to this country, it hit home um, wherever you were at. Um, I know when September 11th happened, I had just got done getting a haircut. I was stationed at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. I had walked into the main exchange, and right there they had a video game section, um, or a computer section per se, and uh, I was looking at the TV, and I just saw news report and smoke, and I thought, oh, looks like a fire on a building, and then um, as I got a little closer, I saw what happened, and at that point, um, phone calls were to get back to base, or back to our commands as soon as possible. We tried to call out. They had blocked all calls coming um, out of the base or into the base uh, via cell phone. So, um, you know, very, very trying time in our nation, but we have rebuilt. Um, I believe we've become a stronger nation due to that. You know, there's, you know, all the theories and stuff, what happened 9-11, but, you know, um, when it comes down to it, this nation has a tendency to pull itself together, get off our asses, and achieve what we need to achieve. So, with that being said, again, I want to welcome everybody to the Falcon Flyby, and as uh, normal, we always give a shout out to all of our sponsors. First and foremost, uh, Multimold um, Guns up in Troy, Michigan. I uh, want to send a big thank you to them. Those guys have been our sponsors since the very beginning. Uh, check them out at multimold.com. <clears throat> you can go to our uh, page, uh, Falcon Flyby on Facebook and the links actually for each one of our descriptions or each one of our um, sponsors is in our page. So be sure to give them a shout out, give them a like um, and see what they can do for you. If you're in the Kydex industry, if you're looking for holsters, cause Hey, they, they're a Kydex um, holster manufacturer as well. So definitely check them out. If you're looking for something, they are really big on the Kydex 2.0 wallets, which is awesome. I, I really love their wallets. They set me one of while back and just impressive so i i can't complain about that at all uh next is gray wolf tactical combat they're out of florida they are an up-and-coming airsoft retailer um i i call them a mobile retailer and the reason for that is they're on they're on facebook with their uh facebook store and everything there and their website but they're also um, they don't have an official brick and mortar store yet but they do come out to events they are our primary go-to event um people so when we're hosting an event, like, say, for instance, Black Dagger, we had them there. Um, it, and then for Icebreaker, they're going to be there as well. So, again, big shout-out to those guys. Awesome guys, Chris and Paul. Um, definitely um, send them a like. Check out their page. Check out their uh, website and see what they can do for you. And then we have Defined Industries. They're one of our newest um, sponsors. And uh, they do a lot of uh, T-shirts and apparel, things of that nature. Um, but definitely check them out. They're, they're pretty impressive as well. Uh, they're based out of uh, California, I believe, out of the Los Angeles area. Um, but check them out as well. So um, another uh, good company, uh, veteran-owned, I believe, and uh, ran, and just great guys all the way around. So definitely check them out. Um, so that's basically, you know, we always give that uh, big hurrah to... Um, all of our um, sponsors that we have, and if if you want to be a sponsor, please feel free to contact the um, contact us via um, message on the Falcon Flyby page. Um, we're we're always out there, you know. And I can tell you that none of these guys, you know, they don't send us big dollars, they don't give us big items. Um, but if we're looking for something, uh, they do um, um, help us out. So that's really cool. Uh, Cassandra is watching us all the way from Disney World, so that's awesome. Um, she got me a, uh, Captain America and Iron Man pin when they're at Universal Studios. So I'm looking forward to that. So it's awesome that she's watching all the way from, from Disney World. So, um, I don't know why she's watching me. She should be out enjoying Disney World. If I, if I was there, I'd be there until the park closed down. So, but that's awesome anyways, that she's on board watching. Um, the other thing that, like I was saying with our sponsors, um, we it, we don't just look at the firearms industry or airsoft. We we look at a broad range. So if if you're somebody that does camping apparel and you want to get the word out about that, please let us know. 
you know, uh, if you have products that you're just coming to market and you want us to do a review to get it out to our viewers, let us know. Um, not only do we uh, post live on Facebook, but we also then upload these videos onto our YouTube channel and then we share it amongst there. Um, I know just on my, uh, oh, they're waiting for the parade to start. That's awesome. Um, but what I do is once, um, I sh once I get this uploaded onto YouTube, I then share it on my personal page, which I have over 1,700 friends, regardless of if they're personal friends that I've known for a long time or you know airsoft or military, whatever it might be. And, and those 1,700 people can take a look and see what's going on. Uh, we share it on, our, uh, on the Falcon Battle Systems uh, Facebook page as well. So we get this out to, to a wide range audience. So, um, you know, we, we have viewers here in Georgia, all the way out to the West Coast, out in Washington, and then up and down and all throughout the, throughout the United States. And I think at one time, <laughs> thanks, Joe. Yeah. That's what happens when you have five daughters. You end up getting white hair, buddy. Um, but like I was saying, I believe we even have some international viewers that check us out on YouTube too. So that's that's really cool for us and we appreciate you guys stopping by. And again, if there's anything you want us um, to talk about or you have an event coming up or something, please let us know. And if it fits within the crowd we broadcast to, we'll definitely get it out there or we'll, we'll make sure we mention it in the descriptions in the videos. So... Um, as always, we're going to, we're going to hit our events that we have going on for airsoft. Um, there's a lot going on next weekend alone. And, um, there's some, there's some awesome events on Sunday, September 18th out at Georgia airsoft. They do have their walk on game noon till five, um, up there in, uh, Winterville. That's where that's pretty much became our home for airsoft events from Doc's productions. When we put on an airsoft game. So definitely check them out. Uh, check out their field. They're always evolving, doing a lot of great stuff out there. So definitely check them out. Um, and then we have Operation Series Vikings, the 16th through the 18th, which is being put on by Airsoft Junkies and Third Coast Airsoft. So um, this is going to be in Darlington, South Carolina. Uh, it looks from everything that I've read and seen is going to be an amazing event. Um. So definitely get out there, check out that event. I know a lot of guys are, and a lot of gals are heading out there to that event, so definitely check it out. Um, I won't be able to make it because I'll be taking care of things back here on the homestead and kicking out those Kydex orders uh, so we can get those all taken care of. We're, um, we're getting in, uh, picking momentum back up now after my daughter was born um, here and uh, last weekend. Now I'm able to catch back up on things, so um, that's what's going on there. Um, and then let's see here. We have, uh, do, 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 do. um, there's an airsoft game at route seven. Um, it's going to be September 24th at 8 AM in Estero, Florida. Um, it looks like it's an event for doomsday airsoft. So definitely, uh, check them out. Um, and, uh, go on out there, have a good time. Uh, we have another event going on, Operation Civil Unrest, which is being done by Tog Milsim the 24th through the 25th. It's going to be at Airsoft Battle Park, um, and it looks like again another another big Milsim. If you're like I said, if you're really into those big Milsim games, these are the ones to hit. Serious Viking through um, Airsoft Junkies and Third Coast, and then the Tog Milsim uh, ones as well. Then it looks like on the 25th, like I said, a lot of events going on this later half of September. We have Operation The Rise of the Legion, which is going to be the, at the water park in Joplin, Missouri, uh, Sunday, September 25th, and it starts at 8 a.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time. So, again, if you're in that area, check that out. Um, I haven't had a chance to, to venture that way to get in a game, but I'm hoping maybe next year I can uh, get out there as well. Then uh, in October, on the 14th through the 16th, we have Behind Enemy Lines 4, City Under Siege, and this is being put on by one of uh, the Falcon Battle Systems retailers. Uh, he's one of the main sponsors, which is uh, BG Airsoft. And then, uh, like I said, uh, Falcon Battle Systems will be donating a couple player packs to that event as well. Um, and this is going to be out at Hellhounds Airsoft Field, and that's in Portland, Tennessee. So definitely uh, check that out if, uh, if you're out in that direction. Um, October 14th, um, Further up north, in, uh, I believe we're going to be in um, Maryland here. I believe it's Maryland. Um, let me check here. Yes, in Maryland, they have um, 
Night Ops 3 Airsoft game at Robin Hood's Paintball. Now, this is done by East Coast Airsoft. They're another one of our retailers, and uh, they're putting on an awesome event. Uh, this is the third one. We're going to probably be involved with some more player packs. I'm going to go ahead and get them out to them uh, probably this week so they have them. Um, and from what I'm, from what I'm reading and everything, it seems like it's just a great event. They, they put on, a, they do a lot of good things. Um, so definitely if you have a chance, hit that up and, um, uh, head on out there for that event. If you're in that area, um, Answering messages. Um, and then we've got some other Milsims going on. November 4th, we have Index Milsim presents Operation Odin I. That's going to be in Gordon, Texas. It looks like it's November 5th through the 6th. Um, and it looks like uh, there's the address for it. I don't see it at any uh, certain field or anything like that, but it is there. Then we have Operation Faded Giant, which is November 5th through the 6th, which is done by American Milsim. And that will be at the Government Training Institute in Barneswell, South Carolina. I believe when I saw it, it was a $185 registration fee is what it was for that event. A little bit more on the expensive side for Milsims, but then again, you're playing on a government training facility, so you really can't complain when you look at that. Uh, we have Operation Overwatch 2. Now we're in December here, uh, the 2nd through the 4th of December. Operation Overwatch 2. Uh, this is going to be in uh, Imokila. I'm probably screwing that name up. Uh, in Florida, uh, further south down by Miami. So uh, definitely check them out as well. Um, we have Operation Christmas Rush, which is going to be at Gunny's Warfare Center on December 11th. And that's in... Uh, Wax Hall, North Carolina. So another uh, another good event, it looks like. Um, on January 13th, we have uh, Fragile Sovereignty 2, which is being put on by Tog Milsim, uh, July 13th uh, through the 15th, um, which is going to be at Adventure Beach Airsoft. And then we have the event that we've all been waiting for, um, Operation Icebreaker, January 28th through the 29th. Going to be held at uh, Georgia Airsoft at Winterville. $40 a ticket all weekend long. Uh, Grey Wolf Tactical Combat's going to be out there. Uh, Falcon Battle Systems will be out there with some player packs. And um, we we might have a few other sponsors. We're not sure right yet, but that's we have that event going on as well. Um, and for each side, it's only 50 spots. So we, we limited this down. So uh, we have the drug cartel, um, the RNL versus the uh, DEA and Border Patrol Agency. So that's what we have going on into already 2017. And I'm sure within the next couple months, we are going to see even more events start to populate for next year. Um, I can tell you, um, if you have still been on the page for Black Dagger, you've seen the name has changed. Um, you've probably noticed that we've started to clear people off of, um, or we already have cleared people off the planning pages. Uh, we're going in there completely restructuring everything, pulling all the old intel out, putting the new intel in as we get it ready to go. And uh, it's just going to be another great event. And, um, you know, we really, the only issue we had was dwindling numbers and the one-sided, but it really worked out great with how everything went. I can't stop talking about that game. I was really, really impressed with it. So I promised you guys the battle box reveal for September, um, and I I can't tell you how awesome this battle box is. You guys probably see me drinking out of my nice little um, bottle here, and this is from Pathfinder. Um, I believe it's like Pathfinder. Oh, okay, yeah, the PathfinderSchool.com. I think. Well, they in this, and I'm gonna get right into this. This is September's battle box. They sent this really cool set. And what it is, is you get a, a stainless steel wide mouth bottle, a 25 ounce cup with bat wing handles. So again, if you're camping, you got your coffee cup and then a stainless steel cup lid with straining holes. So if you're boiling something in your cup or whatnot, or you're, for those that like to have tea when they're camping. And I have to say, I was very, very impressed with this. When I got that, I mean, the box was really heavy. 
um, for this. And when I saw this, I was like, awesome. Now, now we're getting into the good, the good boxes. My very first box was like a camping on your own. The next one was a fishing one. Um, and had more of the fishing items in it. This one is called Finding H2 on the Trail, I believe. Let me get the card here. And I can tell you exactly what they call this one. Uh, sit rep Finding H2O on the Go. This is September 16th Battle Box. Um, mission number 19, Water Purification and Storage. And the basic box, okay? Like I told you, I've gone through these prices before. The basic box is twenty four ninety nine. That's that's what you pay with your shipping, but the value of the box was sixty seven dollars and eighty eight cents, so sixty nine dollars. Um, and I'll go, I'll show you everything. But the the advanced box every month I pay forty nine ninety nine. I pay about fifty five bucks with shipping um, every month. The value of this for this month was a hundred estimated one hundred thirteen dollars. So I can't really complain. I literally. Double sixty dollars, seventy dollars more almost um, than what I paid for the box. So I really can't complain. So again, like I said, the the Pathfinder set. Here's the lid with the strainer, and then here is this really cool coffee cup. Like I said, tea, coffee. If you're boiling uh, ramen noodles in here or something, if you're out camping, there you go. I mean. I was really impressed. This will be something that will definitely go in my survival box or into my camping box. Um, very impressed with it. And like I said, it was like, when I saw this, I was like, awesome. Very, very awesome. So, again, now, now, the, now the weight is starting to pay off. Um, the next thing that they have is um, a two-gallon water bag, which is really cool and it's a uh, heavy duty pvc material uh key closure prevents spilling fold flats when it's empty and hand carry it's you know i again if you're out camping or backpacking not a bad thing to have with your two gallons you know you find a stream you purify the water and now you got two gallons of water for cooking or whatever you need again not not a bad overall item to have um here i have a hide uh hydro pack uh, they call this a stash. It's a 75, uh, 750 milliliter collapsible bottle. Um, so again, another good thing, less space. Um, I would I would throw this into my bug out box or throw it in my bag because it doesn't take up a lot of space. So good to go with that. Um, and then the mini water filtration system, or as we know them, the life straws. Uh, this one here can do up to a hundred thousand gallons from freshwater lakes rivers and streams so again not bad really not a bad idea at all it's very impressive um and then they turned around and they sent which was cool get everything out of the box boxes are never quite big enough okay so they send uh, a thing a hydro pack uh, and this is called Bottle Bright, cleans water bottles and other hard to clean drinking containers safely and easily. Biodegradable, chlorine free, all natural. And we know how hard it is to clean some of those water bottles. I mean, you can't get your hands down into them. And normally, what do we do? We just rinse them out, let them dry. Or we wash them in the sink, and we do that little shake thing like a martini. And then again, we rinse it out and let it dry. Um, so, this, again, something cool. Um, I'm going to try it, see how it works. And who knows, it might be something I turn around and buy a bunch more of. Um, but again, it says uh, this can remove, uh, fights off the nasties, unlike your brush. Uh, no hard chemicals, unlike chlorine bleach. Just soaking with, just soaking with bottle bright. Uh, coffee and tea stain. Uh, it's showing what it does. So, I mean, if you can see on the back side, these are like the coffee and tea stains. And then it shows you what this stuff will do. It'll actually clean that off, which is awesome. So again, another another good thing. Um, and then they have in here, you need a liter of water a day to just survive. Here's uh, 60,000. So what they did, and this is what they sent, it's called uh, Purinize. And I'm sure you guys are looking at it backwards. Um, but again, this is something great to throw in your um, kit. And then uh, you get a, they have a 25% off code on their neat little card that they send 
And it looks like a lot of this stuff is sold at um, Sportsman Outfitters, uh, Gander Mountain, Bass Pro Shop, REI, and I'm sure it's probably sold at Cabela's as well. Um, but again, good stuff to have in your kit. And if you're backpacking, throw a little thing of this in the back. You know, if you run out of water or, God forbid, you get lost out there. And this also came with the water purification uh, tablets. So, again, overall, not not a bad kit at all. Like, and the the Pro, which is nine, is a hundred dollars. Um, its estimated value was one hundred seventy three seventy nine. So we round up one hundred and seventy four dollars. Uh, when it came with a Hydro Pack three liter shape uh, shift reserve bladder hydration system, uh, uh, Aquamore two part water treatment drops, chlorine dioxide, and then Prepper's water survival guide, and then the Pro Plus, which is the one hundred and fifty dollar kit. Um, had a $253 value, so almost $254, because again, it was $253.78. So $100 more, and you would got a, a Spider, Spider Code Delicate 4 VG10 Blue Edition Flat Grind Straight Edge, so they would have had a knife in the box. And I think the box would have been a little bigger. But still, overall, this is not a bad box at all. I was, like I said, when I got it, I was very impressed. Um... I would imagine this is probably one of the boxes that are going to sell out quite quickly. So if you're trying to get your hands on this and you don't have a Battle Box subscription, you can go right um, to their website and you can order this stuff. So again, really cool box. This is a lot of stuff that I would throw in my pack or in my in my bug out box, and, you know, just so I had it with me, um, just in case, because you know. The time you don't pack something is when you're going to say, crap, I wish I had, I wish I would have packed this. So, you know, a lot of this stuff doesn't take up a lot of space, which is good. Space saving. Um, and it's just overall, you know, for what I paid, I'm not going to complain. So, I promise you guys product, new product um, introductions or review. And... The trigger guards, I'm still working on. I still got to get some kinks out of those, but once I get those done, I will show you guys. I'm, I'm kind of going my own way with the trigger guards. Um, so not to try to copy anybody else's that has made them. So those hopefully will be next week's episode if I'm able to do that. But I noticed a lot of you guys like to use these out there on the airsoft field. And you know what? They're not a bad thing. These are the Enola Gay uh, WP... Um, zero one W's and this is white. Yeah, this is white. So these are the zero ones and this is what we were using out there at Black Dagger And again, these are not bad to have in your backup kit for signal smoke because they do go for a while and it's nice to have these You know if you get lost as a last resort so a Lot of people are saying we need something to carry these doc and I'm like I gotcha Look what I made Perfect. Fits. I'm not putting any pressure on it whatsoever. And I told you guys I was going to be making these. And out of necessity, for you guys that use 203s, yes, it does work for 203s. This is a 40 millimeter grenade for the uh, Airsoft 203 launchers and it will fit. Which means any of you guys using the SWAT um, BFGs from the ones that you get from England, the training grenades that use the, the blanks in them, these will work. And we have them now for sale. Um, I think what I was saying, and since I'm on Facebook, I can go look. Uh, let me go to Facebook. There we go. Let me go to my page. Also, um, I noticed I saw a few comment or one comment today saying the link was broke to the tickets for Black De or for Icebreaker. I'm going to fix that tonight because, as you guys know, our name has changed. This is part of this move that we're doing with. Um, Falcon Kydex Tech has now become Falcon Battle Systems, and we are moving in a new direction with our company. Um, so the name changed. 
uh, our Facebook address, which is now is at Falcon Battle Systems. Um, and we'll be having a new email address here shortly as well. So that is probably why that link doesn't work, and we will fix that for you guys so that way you're able to do that. I'll do that tonight before I go to bed, which will be like midnight, 2 o'clock, knowing me. So let me... So for the new single pouches, these slim ones, that's what we call these, these are $10 a piece. These are also part of our new program that we call, that I kind of gave you guys a little bit of insight on, um, called an MPP item, mass production, mass produced per, um, product. I got to write that down or I'll forget it. So this is an MPP item or an MPPI. Um, we make, uh, every day we're out in the shop, when we're out there, we make another five to 10 of these. Um, so that way, for any outside business or anything like that that is looking for these, they can we can pretty much fill their order rather quickly and get them out. Um, so as you can see, these are black, right? And I know not everybody runs black. So I was thinking to myself, hey, multicam. This is multicam cloth. Uh, you guys have, uh, if you go to my exclusive distributor out in the UK, um, you will see that they have a they have a buttload of holsters that are made of this, and I think I posted pictures on the Falcon Battle System site as well. And hey, look, it works. And hey, look, it works, isn't it? I love these things. Literally, if if you are especially for a field admin, and you want to carry smokes and you don't want to drop them in your pocket or put them in your bag, and you have room on your battle belt, this is literally going to take one roll of molly. That's all that's going to take. And that's actually what I'm looking at doing is putting these, spacing them out throughout my battle belt, and I could probably carry 10 of these smoke grenades without issue. So this is our multicam, and I know there's those guys out there that won't multicam. Oh, here's Coyote Brown, and we do have OD Green. So our four colors for these is OD Green, Coyote Brown, multicam, and black. And right now... I am sitting on five of these. I have one multicam. I'm sorry, six. I can't count either. It's Sunday. You know, hey, why not? I have one tan, one multicam, and four blacks. $10 a piece. I can have these out the door to you tomorrow. I know, it's like a sales pitch, but I know you guys have been asking me for these, so we deliver told you guys you let us know what you're looking for we can produce them nine times out of ten and literally um the first i've been in my shop was today um so i got a couple orders started finished up a, uh, another order today and these i was making in between these are very easy to make and so anybody that runs a 203 i'm not putting any pressure on these at all that's this shell is a this is a heavy airsoft 203 grenade so any of you running those thermal barracks, these will fit. You want to carry an extra 203 shell, but you don't like that Velcro over in the, in the cloth? These sit down far enough in, they're not going to go anywhere. It's not like I built them to sit here. They're not going anywhere, guys. If you carry a 203 and you have multiple shells, this is the way to go. All of this is .8 Kydex, and I've actually thought... For the um, for the 203s and for the bracket on the back here, I'm actually thinking about going with a .93, which is thicker, which will give more attention. Um, <laughs> you got to check the mumbles. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, the two, the OD green ones I know will be probably going out. Um, or No. The OD green ones will be done tomorrow. We're going to produce, again, like I said, these are MPPI items, which means we're producing them all the time. Every time we're in the shop, we're producing more of these. These are just like our normal banger pouches. They work off the same concept. We roll them a little bit more so it gives expandability so you can put something a little bigger and still have the retention that you want in these. That's why I love these. When I, when I built the first two, I was like, all right, yeah, cool. And then I started looking at them, and I thought to myself, I've had people ask me, for a 40 millimeter grenade pouch. 
There you go. Your 40 millimeters will fit in here. And they'll fit even tighter once I put the malice on the back side of these. So they'll be even tighter. So you won't have to worry about losing these. So, like I said, these came out really good. We're going to, um, probably later on tonight, I'm going to take some good pictures and um, get these up on our store page. So that way people can see them. Like I said, guys, the trigger guards, we are working on them right now. I hope to have um, the first prototype one done tomorrow. Uh, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. And you guys, if you know anything about me, I do not like putting a crap piece of product out to anybody. So um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to work on it a little bit more. And hopefully come tomorrow, I'll have a trigger guard for you guys that I can even do a little video. So again pretty nice i mean i'm i'm really impressed with these more impressed than i am with my original design for the banger pouches so um i just wanted to show you guys you know like i said this was something that was asked for when i was at black dagger it's something i've been thinking about doing and i just you know for the longest time i always thought the eg18s the big ones were the ones that were used more often than not and then i'm looking at you guys at black dagger just using these the smaller ones like crazy and I just thought to myself, I'm like, why are, you know, why am I not making these? So um, now they're made, and uh, like I said, guys, they're ready to go. We're, we'll probably end up producing um, tomorrow. We'll probably produce another four multi cams, um, four more of the um, Coyote Brown, and four more of the. Um, OD green so that way we have a nice wide variety um, of these and we can get them out to you guys as soon as possible um, so that is our product review um, so I don't know quite where to go with this I mean it's been it's been a very uh, exhausting <laughs> exhausting weekend to say the least here um, in the in the household uh, with the new little one we actually did a uh, we went out to Jacksonville for a while and that was an inter interesting trip uh, with five girls very interesting um, but anyways um, one of the things I want to talk about is to you guys that receive our products that um, are having any sort of issue with them um, and what I mean by that is um, you know something doesn't fit right or it's too tight too loose um, Please remember, at the bottom of your invoice, we, we have it stated right there that we give a full warranty on those. Lifetime warranty on that kind of stuff. Send it back to us. Um, if we can't fix the issue, then what we'll do is we'll turn around and we'll make you a brand new holster or a brand new mag pouch, whatever it might be. Um, we'll produce a new one. However, with the RMA items, which is, again, us doing our warranty work, that takes a little longer uh, we'll let you know when we got your item back. We'll let you know what our diagnosis is of the problem and what we're going to do to try to fix the problem. Um, so we're going to reach out there to you guys and let you know on that as well. Um, but I, again, I want you guys to understand something. And it's very important that you understand this is when you order something from us, regardless if you order it from the website or you order it uh, through me, through Messenger, and I send you a PayPal invoice and you pay for it, when you pay for that invoice, and it states it right in there, you have 24 hours um, from the date of your payment. We wait 24 hours before we all uh, allocate any resources. And that means rivets, Kydex, um, your mouse clips, or whatever type of thing that you're getting. We wait 24 hours. We give you 24 hours to make a decision. Okay? Within 24 hours, if you come back and say, hey, I've changed my mind. I, I don't want that now. Or, you know, I, I've decided that I want to go with this holster instead. That's fine. We can do that. Um, what we'll do at that time is we'll work with you. And if you're wanting a holster, uh, more expensive holster, uh, we'll turn around. And what we'll do is we will send you another invoice to pay the remainder of the, of the cost for the holster. Um, uh, but if you want a less expensive holster then what we'll do is we'll cancel that order send you a new uh, send you your refund and then we'll send you a new invoice for that however after that 24 hours and it seems a lot of people don't quite understand that after that 24 hours 
we do not issue refund because at that time what we do is if we have to order a Kydex, we go and we order a Kydex. Okay, whether it's a special print, whether it's um you know, just a print we don't carry or a color we don't carry normally, we go and we order that. All right. Um, we also figure out how many rivets and we set those rivets aside. We set the attachments aside. We set the screws aside. We literally go and allocate everything at that point. Um, at that point, your, your order is in processing. And, and when you order through the website, it gives us the availability that wants to see the order has been paid to go in there and put, yes, the order is being processed. And what we're going to start doing is we're going to start putting notes into those orders, letting you guys know, because it emails it right back to you and it gives you an update. And it allows us, because it sends another copy to us, to know what's going on with that order. And we make notes on your invoice because we print out every invoice, okay? Um, we, we've had a couple instances where, and I want you guys to understand something, we don't guarantee lead times. And I, I give you a soft lead time of two to three weeks. The reason for that is um, being a single person shop, I try to get your orders in as quickly as I can. But if I have to order items for you, it usually takes a little longer depending on where those items are come from. One of my suppliers is on the West Coast. One of them is over here on the East Coast and that supplier doesn't carry everything that the supplier on the West Coast carries. Um, and we use multiple suppliers as well. So, and I don't, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I don't pay for expedited shipping on supplies unless it's Leo or military that's going downrange or it's Leo that's a member of SWAT or something along those lines where I got to get that stuff to them immediately because they're going to be using it as soon as they get it. They have a different president, presidents of, of getting their item a little bit quicker. Um, we've also explained to you guys the how the order of functionality goes for orders, Okay. Um, and not saying that your orders are not important by any stretch of the imagination. It's just we have a hierarchy of how orders go. Um, so that needs to be followed as well. And please, like I'm telling you guys, please read the bottom of your invoices when you get your sales order and you order something from us. And it's and I want you to hold me accountable as well. Send me messages. Look for, um, you know, hey, what's the update? And I'll let you guys know, right now, since things have been so crazy the last two weeks, I am now getting back into the shop. And I will be back in the shop tomorrow tomorrow afternoon, and I'll be in the shop to, on Tuesday. So I will be in the shop those two days, busting out orders as quickly as I can get to them. Um, so when I start working on those orders, I will give you a heads up and let you know. What really bothers me is, um, is if lines of communication have been open the whole entire time, and I'm letting you know what's going on. And then I've already built your product. And all I got to do is literally just drop it off at the post office for you. And you turn around and you say, well, I don't want it now. Well, I'm going to let you guys know. We're not issuing you a refund for that. It tells you in your thing, in your, in your invoice, that we no longer, after that 24-hour time frame, we do not issue a refund. All right? I will do everything in my power to make sure your order is correct and gets out as soon as possible. Okay? But I can tell some of you guys, I've, I'm on a couple sites where I see some of these guys are waiting six months for stuff because it takes so long to get it or there's a back order list and things of that nature. All right. I try to get your guys' stuff out to you in one to two weeks as quickly as I possibly can. But please bear with me. Understand that I've been out of the shop for almost two weeks and I'm now getting back in. So with all that going on, it's business as usual now. So um, I'm going to be talking to a lot of you guys. I've got a lot of orders sitting on the bench. I got a lot of orders that I need to get ready to be shipped out. Pictures will be coming down the line to you guys that have orders. You guys with player packs. Um, there's one gentleman that had sent me his gun. Um, I don't know if you watched the Falcon Flyby, but if you do, I'm going to be working on yours tomorrow because I want, I want to get your pistol back to you. So I'm going to work on your order tomorrow, get it banged out, get it out of the way, and out the door. I want to say hi to Tom and Thomas and Ryan for joining and if you guys didn't see this, I just want to throw this up again. You guys have been asking for these, so we turn around. This is the smaller Enola Gay smoke grenade. And we now have pouches that fit them quite nicely. I'm not putting any pressure on that. It's not going anywhere, and you guys are probably sick of seeing that. So we do have them now. And uh, they are for sale on our uh, website. They're known as the FKT Slim Banger Pouch. Single, they're $10 a piece, so if you guys carry those smoke grenades, or if you have a 203 launcher, because I love showing this off, they'll fit your 203 shells as well. 
Pretty cool. So, but that's what's going on. Please make sure you read. If you go to the Falcon Flyby or to the Falcon Battle Systems page, we have a section in here, and I've checked it out and made sure it worked. But if you go and look, there's a thing on the left hand side that says notes. You can go in there, and we have a, a very wide variety of notes. We have things such as, um, um, I have one that sits there, uh, the order of things is literally what it is. It's the order of things, how orders work. Um, I will tell you that player packs are the very last thing we work on because it is a free item that we're getting out, but we try to get them out as quickly as we can. We do try to uh, mingle them <laughs> into our standard order queue. So that way we can, we might only get one, maybe two out of, out a week. But we do get them knocked out, and we do get them done, you guys. So bear with us. Now, if you're asking for some weird pistol, like I had one guy that wanted a Mac 11 or a Mark 1, I don't have those molds. So unless you want to send me the Mark 1 or the Mac 11, there's no way I can make a holster for that unless you send that to me. So you need to send that to me if you want me to make a holster. And I would highly recommend that individual sends me the Mark 1 pistol because the Mac one, the Mac 11 will take a very long time to do because of of the... Um, um, help me out here guys the release for the rounds um, we also have our we've updated our term of terms of condition and lead times um, we have a program that we call blue guns for holsters um, we don't use we're trying not to use blue guns anymore because after 100 or so uses they start to shrink and that's not good and we also notice that they don't fit a lot of the airsoft pistols that we get orders for so we have a program, though, where if you want a pistol made, basically, and we don't have the mold for it, what we'll do is we'll recommend you to our site to multi-mold guns and say, if you buy the mold and send it to us, we'll turn around and we'll make the pistol for you. And for payment for that, we'll keep the mold. So we do that as well. It's, it's just one of those things we do. Um, we have a shipping schedule that out there that's out there as well. We try to stay um, true to that as best we can, but we all know weather and things get in the way. Um, we have a list of all the pistol molds we have. We're continuously updating that. We're always getting new ones in, uh, so that way you guys can see it. We also have a list of all the different Kydex colors and patterns that we can get, so definitely check that out. Um, we have updated our work and build schedule. It got updated as of the first of this month, something you guys need to read. Uh, we work Monday through Friday, or Monday through, you know, through Thursday. Uh, we try to save Monday as an admin day. Basically, any orders that came over the weekend or any questions, we can go and answer those. And we print out the orders and we get them into our queue and get them get them ready to be built. Um, Friday is kind of an if day. It all depends on what the wife has going on because, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to have to have that family time, take care of the family as well. Um, so, you know, uh, Saturday and Sunday, it's very rare that we'll be in the shop. Uh, Sunday, I might go in there and just work on a couple things, maybe produce some of the um, MP MPPI items just to give me a head start so I don't have to mess with those on Monday or Tuesday. So I already have a good quantity built up. Um, but Monday through Friday is normal business for us. So um, <clears throat> if you don't hear anything from me on a, on a Friday pertaining to your pistol or your your order, please... Feel free to send a message. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, but more than likely, you'll hear back from me on Monday. Um, inter um, the big retail orders, that will cause us to go into the shop on the weekends. Um, if we're really behind because something happened, something came up, we'll go into the shop on the weekends and work a couple hours just to try to get one or two orders done and start to listen lessen what's in the queue. So definitely be paying attention to that as well. And read over this stuff so you guys have a broader knowledge of what we're, what we're doing and what's going on. Also, we have our return and order cancellation policy in there as well. Not only is it on our invoices, whether I send you an invoice through PayPal or you order it through our web store, it is there. We also have it copied on there as well. So you can go into the notes. You can read these. You can see what's going on. You can ask questions. Feel free to ask questions because... You know, I, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're not paying attention and, and asking questions about what our return policy is and warranty and stuff like that, then in my mind, I'm leaving it up to you that you've read your invoice. 
because we try to put this information in the invoice as well. I don't want you to have a five page invoice that comes out. But again, we, we have this information there for you guys. So please be sure to go to our page, Falcon Battle Systems, here on Facebook and go to the notes section and read the notes. Um, it'll, it'll help you out and it'll leave a lot of confusion later on down the line as well. Um, so again, like I told you guys, we're going to be in the shop tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be bouncing out orders. I did, I did a mold, a couple molds on one item. I had to mold a rain shade packet. Andrew, I'm working on your order, buddy. All I have to do is all the holes are drilled. All I got to do is put them together, cut them, sand them, wash them. And then I can take a picture of all your stuff and I'll send you that so you guys can see what we have. Um, and I do that with everybody. So if I'm working on your order, I will work on it, get it done. I will send you pictures so you can see it um, and see that the order is completed. I try to put like your invoice right behind it so you can see your name to it and everything. Um, but we are working on a few RMA items. I have a few international RMA items that I'm going to be working on this week um, on Monday and Tuesday because I need to get them out to those guys as well. They've been waiting very patiently. So we'll definitely take care of them. Um, but please feel free to order, put your order in. Remember, all September, we have our September 20% off sale. And the only way to use that promotional code, the only way to use that promotional code is to go to the Falcon Battle Systems page. Um, the offer is there. The code is there. It's on there as well. Um, let's see here. I had to update it to make sure it worked because the last one I sent for some reason, oh, when I changed the name, it messed everything up. So uh, we have 20% off. The code is SEPT, S-E-P-T, 20. And that gives you 20% off your entire order. Orders here in the continental United States, you get free shipping. Orders international. Um, after I know what the item is, I can kind of give you an idea of what shipping is. And I try to give you 50% off your shipping. International orders that are over $350 or more, get uh, free shipping because of how much you've ordered. So, and we do that with all our retailers that order from us from overseas. Um, so definitely check out the page. We'll get this information out um, and let you guys know what's going on. Um, we still have what I call our um, apocalypse deal. Uh, any order that's $100 or more, $100 up to $200, you get an EDC knife uh, one of the m -Tech Ballistic, or, uh, yeah, the m -Tech Ballistic um, TAC Folder EDC knife, really nice knives. I use them, I love them, I carry them all the time. Um, and then if your order is $200 or more, um, and you can use the 20% on this as well, so it's it's a big bonus. So, um, you know, hey, you order 20%, you're going to turn around and say, oh, my order is only $80, and you're going to order more. That's, that's what we like, and we like to help you guys out to order more. Um, but if you hit that $200 or over mark, um, you get not only the MTech TAC um, hatchet, nothing has like a bazillion things on. It's got a hammer on one end, blade. Uh, it's got a five inch ruler on the other side. I mean, it's crazy. Um, and you get the the EDC knife, so it's a it's a better deal. Um, so definitely, if you guys are looking to you know get that big order, or you want to order three or four holsters, you know those that is the deal right there. That that honestly is actually better than the twenty percent off because. What the twenty percent off would save you, you're actually going to get that amount or more for free. So it's it's a good thing as well. So definitely check those deals out. Um, you you won't be sorry at all. And that. Um, and the one thing I want to start before I go here, it's like eight fifty two. So I got about I'll give you about ten minutes, and I was a little late, so we'll go we'll go a little bit over. But one thing I'm going to start doing is on Mondays because that is my admin day. I'm kind of going to give you an overview of what Falcon Battle Systems has going on for the week. So that way you guys can get a better understanding. You can, If you want to, you can go ahead and, and check us out. You'll see that we're live. We're not going to post it. You know, We're not going to make an event out of it. It's just going to be like a Monday thing where we kind of give you an idea and say, hey, we had four more orders come in. Um, this is where we're at right now. We're working on player packs. So that way you guys have an overall knowledge and we'll even update you every week on what our expected lead time is. So that way you guys have a better idea of that as well, because I think if I can get more information out there to you guys, the better off it'll be. Um, also, if you've noticed on the store, we've gotten rid of items that weren't very popular. They just weren't selling enough. You know, we maybe made you know, six, seven, eight of them uh, throughout their lifespan, and they just weren't that big. 
Uh, they didn't get the, I guess, the exposure that I thought they would. So we've actually removed those. So if you go to the page, you're going to know holster, the holster section has slimmed down a little bit. But we have a new holster that I will have pictures of and I'm going to talk about tomorrow for sure. Um, I'm going to do a live broadcast as soon as I am um, get it done. And I know my customer, he's been waiting very patiently for that. And I appreciate that. Um, it, he commissioned me to make this for him. And I think it's going to turn out great. And I will have the pictures for this tomorrow. It is actually our combination in the waistband um, holster mag pouch. So I'm very, very excited to see how this is going to come out. Um, even though I'm the one making it. Um, but I know he's very, he's been waiting very patiently. He's very, very good customer. I think, I think I've probably made like four holsters for him. A um, couple in the waistband. And I think they've all been in the waistband holsters. So um, he's a repeat customer. He keeps coming back to me. He keeps bringing out things and ideas to me. And I, I'm able just to knock him out of the park. And I try to hook him up and take care of him. So um, you'll hopefully see pictures, um, if not a video of that tomorrow, of me just kind of showing it off to you guys and seeing it. And if he likes it, I will let him be the judge if we go ahead and we start making that a normal product. Um, we do have the placeholder on our web store for it, um, but it's it's literally going to come down to what he thinks of it and and uh, if if he thinks it'll be a good product for sale. I know there's a bunch of companies that sell something similar to this, um, so I wouldn't be the only the only game in town. And I don't want to produce something or have something on my store that just sits there and doesn't you know it's like once every couple months somebody wants this. But hey, it looks good. Um, so yeah, next week we'll have another Falcon flyby. And we'll we'll be discussing, you know, I'll, again, I'll, I'll show some of the new stuff coming on. Maybe next week I will save the trigger guards for next week because, hey, I like showing you guys new things. Um, and I am going to start talking more gear-wise. Um, I think I need to start talking about gear. I think a lot of guys were, um, you know, as the winter comes in, we kind of slow down off of Airsoft and transition into more like going hiking and things of that nature, backpacking camping and such and i do my battle box reviews and and things of that nature but i think what i'm going to start doing is uh talking about some of the gear that that i like to use if you guys saw at black dagger i was carrying that um max expedition uh, i call it a they call it the gunslinger bag i or gear slinger bag one of the two it's the single strap and i actually like it. it's very comfortable um and like i said it's got molly on the back so i'm probably going to put like three or four of those things um onto my bag as well which will be really cool because they'll be back there so all i gotta do is swing my bag around grab a smoke grenade swing it back up and i can toss it out there for admin um so yeah i just saw my buddy just joined uh one of the teams i was on in uh washington or actually the only well yeah it was kind of the main team i was on uh scout rangers um just joined up it's been a while um since I've been to their page, and uh, you will see, you will see this. I will do an individual video to show you my new smoke grenade pouches. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, this will be up on Facebook. Please, please check um, not only Facebook, but we're gonna upload this to YouTube. Remember, I do have a, a Patreon account. Um, I'm trying to raise money to get, like I said, I want to get a green screen. Uh, to do better videos, I want to get um, the equipment I need. I found a nice $100 package uh, to do podcasts because I want to get out there and I want to start doing podcasts for you guys as well because I know not everybody can um, get online and, and, and watch the Falcon Flyby. So I want to make it portable. I want to make it so it's a podcast so you guys can download it from SoundCloud. Oh, excuse me. And you'll be able to watch it because we're going to use SoundCloud as our main um, distributor for our podcast. And one thing, and I, I've started to look at it a bit more, is doing having Google Hangout up here where you guys can actually call in uh, through Google Hangout. Um, I'll have a Google 800 number that you guys can call and we can hear it. You can ask questions. You can talk to us directly. And that'll be cool, too, because we can put that through the uh, podcast as well. And I think it'll liven things up a little bit. I think it'll give you guys more ways to interact um, with... Um, how we do things here on the Falcon Flyby and we can make it more interesting. Plus it allow me to do the interviews I want to do and reach out to um, some of the other people here in the Airsoft community and in the competition shooting um, ring as well. If you know, it's Ryan who had joined. He's kind of like my local celebrity. He actually has um, 
some modified mag pouches and a holster I made for him um, that gives him a quicker draw. It allows him to uh, draw his mags quicker. And uh, every time he has an idea for something, he brings it my way. And it may take us a couple tries, but we always get it locked down. And um, I have a new holster that's in the it's in the making right now. It's it's very hush hush. I I have one test user that before he gets this holster, um, I have to have him sign privacy and and uh, things of that nature to where he only shares his videos and his review with me. Um, so that way I know how to fix this because I don't want it to go anywhere until I know this thing is ready to go because I believe it will, um, it'll just be a lot different than what a lot of people are used to seeing out there. Um, whether it's to the range, whether, you know, whether it's a, a out of the waistband carry piece, um, I, I just think it'll be something completely different. And I see uh, Leslie Gardner just joined. I believe it might be the first or second time um, have Leslie on the show joining. Um, but yeah, I, I want you know I want to know what you guys think, and and please tell me you know what what you would like to talk about because the last couple conversations I've been leading you guys got my rant last week when I was talking about military pay and how people think hey they get they they get all this stuff for free and they don't realize what our lives go through you know once we've once we sign that line and we're you know we're in the military it's a completely different ball game it's not it's not for free I can definitely tell you that um so um I, like I said at the beginning of the show, you know, 9-11, 15 years ago, the, this country just got pretty much, um, the best way I can put it, kicked in the balls. Um, you know, no, no, the real reason, you know, I'm not going to be politically correct about it. It was um, people that didn't like us. It was Islamic terrorists. I mean, it was claimed by Islamic terrorist organizations. Um, and it it's just amazing to see how this country can pull itself together, can pick itself up off the ground, rebuild, um, and do what needs to get done. And, you know, to the men and women that I served with and that are still serving in the new generation that's coming into the military, I, I really hope the new generation takes their job seriously and realizes um, how much of an honor it is to be part of something, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, that is the U.S. military, regardless of what branch. You know, we can... We can cut up on each other all day long. I got friends that are in the Air Force, the Army, Marines, you know, Navy here, Coast Guard, um, whatever it might be. But when it comes down to it, those are the people that you're going to be in that foxhole with or in that Bradley or, you know, in that Humvee going down that same path that you've been down a hundred times. But, you know, just just might not be the same ride that you had the last time you went down. And they're, they're going to be the people that got your back. Um it's, it's a completely different feeling when you get out and you realize that the average civilian has no idea what that's about. Uh, when you talk friends, you talk brotherhood, you talk loyalty, you talk, you know, just just the way it works. Um, yeah, we deal with a lot of bureaucracy. We deal with, you know, who honestly wants to go clean a latrine? Honestly, who does? I mean, who wants to go do mess duty? Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of people signing up for those jobs, but they're jobs that have to be done. Um, but again, the the next generation that's in the military, I really hope you you honor and you respect that oath you take, that oath of enlistment, or that you know that oath of becoming an officer, of being commissioned, or or being a chief warrant officer, or whatever it is that you're doing in the military. I really hope you you take your job seriously, you know, and and have fun with it. I mean, I had fun with my guys. And I'm not saying they got to be serious 24 seven, but when the shit hits the fan and you need to pick the pack up and throw it on your back and go do and take care of business, that's when it's time to be serious. Um, and just realize that there, there are a lot of great men and women that have died for this country, died fighting in wars, regardless of wherever they were, whether it was the civil war, whether, you know, when it, we were fighting the English or the, you know, native, uh, native Indians or the American Indian war, whatever it might be. Uh, there's been great men and women on both sides of conflicts that have died, and uh, we need to we need to show respect all the way around. Um, I will tell you, we're we're losing more and more of the greatest generation, um, those that fought World War II um, every day. I don't I don't think there's a lot of them left. I I really don't. And the next the next generation is the Korean and the Vietnam War vets, um, and those those are the next that's the next big group. And my father-in-law 
you know, is retired army, flew in Vietnam, flew helicopters. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a huge amount of respect that I give that man every single day, uh, for what he's done. Cause he paved the way for everybody else. And, and all those in that, in the greatest generation and the generation in the, from the Korean war all the way through, they paved the way. They're the ones that made policies that worked for us while we're in the military, gave us some of the, some of the great benefits that we do have. Um, so definitely take your hats off to him and, you know, if you get the chance, um, and I know this might sound weird, walk through a cemetery and look for the ones that served in, in wars, um, and take time to figure out who they are and learn and learn more about them and learn more about those wars. It's and, you know it's very interesting when you start to learn the history of war and and so on and so forth. So um, again, you know, 15 years and we look back and we look how we build and we look at some of the some of the fights that are still going on in New York with you know. Muslims wanting to build a mosque and people saying we need to remove Islamic terrorism off of the 9-11 memorial and things of that nature. It's crazy. I mean, it really is. Um, but, uh, you know, I will say this over and over and over again. We do live in one of the greatest countries in the world. Um, you know, I think if with hard work and determination and, and an idea, I think anybody can make it in, make it in this country. And, you know, there there's a lot of things out there that are making us think otherwise, but I think if we all just cooperated instead of fighting each other, I think if we got rid of the social justice warriors and got rid of the political correctness and just said what was on our minds instead of quote unquote pussy footing it around, um, I think we'd get a lot more done than um, we would with all the bureaucracy and the political correctness and you know, and a lot of this has to do with it is that, you know, 20 years ago, you know, 30 years ago, this stuff wasn't as televised or, you know, the internet wasn't as viable as it is now. You know, it's, it's crazy that you can get anything and see anything at the touch of a button and you only get one perspective and nobody really wants to sit down to have the common sense talk. Um, exchange of ideas is great. I'm all for it. And I will sit down and talk with anybody and I don't care what your faith is. I really don't. Um, I don't care what color your skin is. I don't care where you were born. I don't care who your mother or your father were. Um, that that doesn't have any pertaining or any bearing on my, I guess my, and I'm not going to use the word judgment, but my thought process of you as a person. Um, I could care less. But, you know, I think when we look at everything, the common sense factor is not there anymore. And that's what's really killing me. Um, you know, the more and more I see of it, Every day, the more and more I have to look at it and say, are you really, are you really 100% serious when I read this story? You know, it, it shocks me. It, it really does. You know, um, it's, it's, it's crazy. That's all I can really say. It's, it's just absolutely 100% crazy what's going on in our country and throughout the world. It, it really is. Um, and I, and I hope, um, you know, come after, after November, we, we have a president who, can steer us back onto the right course. You know, I, I look at Ronald Reagan as one of the best presidents ever. Um, and you guys that are friend that I'm friends with have seen me share his video over and over and over and over again. I mean, the man is phenomenal. Um, so I'm just waiting to see what it turns out. I mean, if you want to have a political discussion with me, I'm more than welcome to have it. Um, as I tell everybody, Please come with facts. Don't come with talking points. Because if you can't come with facts, then you might as well just walk out the door. You're, n you're not ready to have the conversation. Um, but I do appreciate everybody's opinions. And that's the greatest thing about this country is freedom of speech. I can, I can say what's on my mind. And the sad part is, is we got groups that want to censor it because, oh, it might hurt somebody's feelings. Or, you know, that's a trigger word. And I, I can tell you right now, growing up, there was no such thing as a trigger word. There was no such thing as a safe space. My safe space is what I made for myself. I have 18 inches in front of me and all around me. That's my safe space. You come within my safe space and threaten me, you're probably going to get popped in the mouth. Uh, that's just how it is. Um, but now we, we have excuses for everybody's issues instead of them taking responsibility. So it's a sad world. Uh, hopefully, you know, my generation um, can help this younger generation see through the crap that they're creating this social utopia that everybody should pay for all our stuff and we shouldn't have to pay for anything. I mean, 
was it Texas A&M, the dildos for guns or cocks for glocks or whatever it was, you know, the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life. And listening to them talk to that one girl speak, she had no idea what she was talking about. None. Personally, I thought it was great. You're handing out dildos, safe sex. It it cuts down on the pregnancy, um, the teen pregnancy rate, pass those bad boys out. Like it's nobody's business. I think that's great, but what she was talking about and what she was trying to say made no sense. She had no factual proof. Her thing was, oh, they shouldn't have voted on it while we're at spring break. Well, the college didn't vote on it. The legislation in Texas, the Congress in Texas voted on it. You have no you have no say in that vote. So, you know, the, to make the comments, and you may, they make it sound like it was a conspiracy. Oh, we were on spring break and they voted it in and... The public university receives federal dollars and state dollars. That's how it works. It has to follow law. It's not a private university. If it was private and received no federal or state funds to go to there, they could make any rule they wanted. Um, great, great college to look at, and it's private. Go look at Hillsdale College in Hillsdale, Michigan. They're private. If they decide they want to allow campus carry, that's their decision. That comes from their uh, trustees. That's not given by the state of Michigan. Now, the state of Michigan could say, yeah, we don't allow uh, carry on public universities, but they can't stop it on private. That's the thing. Private universities are completely different. But, you know, when you when you look at that, that whole situation, and I'm giving you my rant right now, she had no idea what she was talking about. None of those girls that were doing this cock for Glock things, you know, get show your cock out. You know, you know, if you if we feel uncomfortable with with guns we should make you feel uncomfortable with dildos. And I'm like, actually, to me, that just makes you look like a moron. Um, But she had no idea what she was talking about. She really didn't. She didn't understand how the process worked, but just went right away and went on, again, that social justice warrior path. They have no facts. They have no idea what they're talking about, and they just go. And I think it's great. Let them go. They, they They have the First Amendment, but what they don't realize is the Second Amendment protects the First Amendment. Um, and the other thing it was, it was campus carry. It's concealed carry. How are you even going to know I'm carrying? That, that's what gets me. I know guys that can carry two to three guns on them, and you'd have no idea that they're carrying two to three guns on them. You'd have no idea. You know, if, if it's campus carry, and I'm carrying a, a sling bag, and there's a spot, a concealed carry spot for my gun, you would never know I'm carrying. And that's the whole point. They try to make the thing, well, we feel uncomfortable. So here's my question to her. What if they didn't say anything and they just went to a small group of people and said, we want you, it's illegal for you, it's illegal for you to carry on campus concealed. Now, don't tell anybody. We want to see what happens. That outrage would have never took place because there is really, honestly, is if you're not printing like it's, you know, the morning sun beaming on your face, no one would know you're carrying. And that's the thing. There's no, she's walking around. I swear to God, if you watch the video, she's got like a, this thing, it has to be, A 10 to 12 inch King Kong dong she's carrying around with her. Doing her whole bit. And I mean, I was literally, when I watched the video, I was waiting for her to start sucking on it because it was right there. I had her chin. And it made no sense. It's like, come on, where are you going with this? But again, this new generation, this progressive generation, this social justice warrior generation, this is what we're getting. And this is what mommy and daddy are fostering. This this thought process. And this is why more and more people <clears throat> want to shut out people like Milo Yiannopoulos and Ben Shapiro. They don't want those guys to come and talk at their universities because those guys come with facts. That's what's amazing. They come with facts to the conversation. They don't come with talking points. They come with you know statistics, facts, and nobody can compete against them. And that's what's great is when I watch those guys destroy social justice warriors, it, it it's like the smile upon my day. It's like my daughter giggling and laughing. I feel so much better. And that's literally what it is. Um, and, and, and I challenge some of you guys, go to YouTube. Go to uh, Ben Shapiro's Facebook or his YouTube page. Go to um, Milo Yiannopoulos. I'll put their links in the description when I upload the video to YouTube. Check out some of this stuff. I mean, literally... They have black, he's, Milo's doing an interview, or doing a discussion on campus, not bothering anybody, and all of a sudden, Black Lives Matters comes in there. If Black Lives Matters, that's the last place you need to be. 
Black Lives Matter, you need to be down in downtown Detroit. You need to be in the ghettos of Chicago on the south side where blacks are killing blacks. It's just crazy. Again, there's a site called HeyJackass.com. Go check it out. It gives you the stats, daily stats of the gun violence ratings, stabbings, whatever else in Chicago. It's great. I think it's great. Go check that site out. If Black Lives Matters, where were you during during the flooding? There was no Black Lives Matters there. That's the thing. Black Lives only matter when it involves the police. They, they have no movement outside of that. So, But again, watch some of their videos. It's, it's pretty funny to watch. And like I said, Ben Shapiro, that man comes and he's ready to go. I mean, he's got facts. He can literally, I've watched him literally destroy social justice warriors, Black Lives Matters, anybody. I've watched him destroy the progressive left with facts continuously. And it's hilarious. Because when they get destroyed, they get frustrated. And when they get frustrated, they start resorting to violence and screaming and name calling. It's awesome. I mean, you know, if you have an inferior mind, that's what you're going to resort to, right? You're going to resort to violence. You're going to resort to yelling at people because you have nothing, you have nothing intelligent in your mind to come back with. So, well, boys and girls, I want to say thank you for joining me for the September 11th edition of the Falcon Flyby. Um, our next Falcon Flyby will be on the 18th. Uh, same bat channel, same bat place. Um, and I just want to thank you guys for being here and taking the time to join me. Again, I'm Doc for the Falcon Flyby and Falcon Battle Systems saying take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.